What is poppin' fam? Spanning here, the coach of your New York Rangers. And this is week number three of the WPL. We are taking on Fizzle and his Tampa Bay Weasels. Trying to see if we could get our second straight win against a Florida team. Because as you saw last week, we uh, we beat uh, Jake at his Miami Mimikyus. So we're facing the other Florida team here in the Tampa Bay Weasels. So hopefully we can catch another dub. But his team is full of threats. He had the uh, top draft going into the uh, first going into the first week of the season. Like he was the highest power ranked team, highest power ranked team draft wise. I think we were actually number two. So it's gonna be a top two drafts going at each other, and his draft is chock full of threats. He had he had Skol as just as you see from what he brought: Hydreigon, Celestila, Skolopede, Mega Metamechamp is always scary. Black and Rock Dusk is Black and Rock Dusk can be annoying, and uh, Aroma Tease is always annoying. As well, he has cleric support. He has speed. Speed pass is allowed. So he, but just speed. Like he can't pass speed in SD, but he can pass. He can pass speed only, which is good. Which is really, 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 really annoying for my team, especially since um, Mega Metachim kind of just runs through. But just a brief rundown before we brought. We have Life Orb, Wall Breaking, Kyrim. We have uh, I think it's actually Spid Fizdev uh, Toxapex. We have uh, AV Hitmonchan. Dragon Dance Flygon with Life Orb, I'm pretty sure. This Death Tangrowth meant to take on his Schoolopede and his Mega Meta Champ. And uh, Specs, I think, no, Scarfelius, Scarfelius. Okay, that's a brief rundown of my team. In his team's right over there. And yeah, he brought all his threats I was afraid of. Like, a Dragon could be really annoying if it's Scarfed. Same thing with uh, Celesteela with an Autonomize is scary. And there's Mega Meta Champ scary at all. So let's get right into this battle and see how this battle played out. I decided to leave my Hideo list because he leads with his Mega Meta Champ. And the Meta Champs are. And I have to go out of my top specs here. It's my best answer to this thing because I need um, Tank Growth for his Skullipede. I go for the Bengal Bunk. Beef Bunk here as he goes for the Zen Headbutt and gets poisoned in the process. So he's going to be taking some poison damage as well, which is really, really nice. That was the goal of Bangful Bunker there. So now I did just liquidation here to get some damage on this thing. I have regen, so I wasn't worried about taking damage. As he goes out into the skull of me here, as I go into my tank growth, which is okay, because I could live a Mega Horn and just fire off a Rock Tomb on this thing to be able to drop its speed and do some big damage to it. I know I could have ran Rock Slide. I opted to run Rock Tomb for the speed. For the speed drops. As I go into my flag on here as he misses the Mega Horn, but that doesn't matter, it wasn't gonna do shit to me anyway. So he pulls a switch here out into his Sun Steel as I get off a of Dragon Dance. And moments like this where I regret not having Z moves on my flag on, because I go for Fire Punch here and it's not even gonna kill. I get the 75% as he just wastes his Z move on me, which is kind of, that's fine. I'd rather him waste his Z move on Flygon than Tangro, to be honest. So I go out into my Helios here as it will outspeed this as he goes into his Hydreigon. I fire off a full switch. Does a decent amount, but I did get a crit. And as we go into my Hitmonchan here, as yeah, he goes out into his Aromatease, I fire off a Dream Punch, try to get some damage. But Hitmonchan cannot touch this, even though I have Bullet Punch, it's not gonna do anything. But Toxic this thing can't touch my Toxapex. So I go into my Toxapex here. As he pulls a switch into the Cell Steel, trying to wish that thing back up. I go for liquidation, doesn't do a whole lot. But like I said, I really don't mind my Toxapex taking a lot of damage because of Regenerator. I go so switch here in my Tangle, predicting the Earthquake, and I'm pretty sure this thing can't touch me. I'm pretty sure it's all physical, because he did get the Beast Boost in attack. So I don't think he has Fire Blast or anything like that, as I just fire off a Leech Seed here. And now I double out into my Kyrim, because I'm pretty sure he was going to try to double out into something as he goes into the Hydreigon. And he revealed Life Warp on the Hydreigon, so I know he's not, um... I know he's not Scarfed. Meaning he probably was going to switch out here for thinking I was Scarf Kyrim or something. I'm not, I think I'm Life Orb Kyrim. As he goes into Romatiz, I pull a switch into my Hitmonchan. That was, a, that was a good play on his end, because he was probably scouting for the Scarf on my uh, Kyrim. And even if I switch into Hitmonchan, not much not much a Romatiz could do. Not much a Hitmonchan could do with Romatiz. But I do fire off the Bullet Punch here just to get some more damage, because I knew he was, I didn't think he was going to go for Moonblast, expecting me to go Toxapex. As he does reveal the heal bell, so now his Metacham isn't poisoned anymore, which is kind of annoying. It just makes my life a whole lot harder. So I go out into my tank growth here thinking he was going to maybe go out into the Metacham. 
but I, he stays in. I miss the leaf seed. Now, he sets off a wish here. He tries to wish back up. He tries to wish into his Metacham, but I predict that, and I go for the Power Whip here. So I'm able to take out this Metacham very, very early on, which is really, really nice for, which is really, really nice for me later on, because my team has a really, really hard time dealing with that Metacham. So getting rid of it now was great. He probably thought I was going to try to Leech Seed again, but I... That was very risky on his end. His Metacham could have done a lot of work. So now this thing comes back in. I go out and I hit Munchamp because that's my best answer to this. He goes for a Fire Blast. He does a decent amount. As... Yeah. As now he just goes into the Skull of Feet on my Ice Punch. And that does a decent amount of damage. He goes for Protect here, I, I guess. But I revealed Bullet Punch earlier on. So I don't get why he did that. But now he goes back out into the Celesteela. I have to go for Bullet Punch. I can't risk it. And now I go for Drain Punch here. It doesn't actually take out the Celesteela, but I actually live this Heavy Slam because of my recovery. So now I can just go for Drain Punch here and take out the Celesteela. Hitmonchan putting in the finest of work. As now he goes out into the Lycan Rock here. Just, just, kill, just kill me with a Cell Rock. I think I clicked Drain Punch there too, like just in case he tried to get rocks up thinking I would save it. But I really had no reason to save it. So now I go into my Tang Growth here. It was built for this and the Scolipede. So now Tox Effects is kind of expendable. Or I could just use it to take on the Dragon now. So now I go into my Tangrowth here. He gets his rocks up as I fire off a rock tomb, thinking he was going to go out into Skullipede or something. Try to sack that off. As now he goes out into the Aromatisse, I fire off another rock tomb. And I don't mind rocks being up. Really, the only bond that affects is Kiram. But I can play around that. As now he goes out into the Hydreigon here. As I go out into my Tox Effects, I go for Bankful Bunker because I want to see what he does. He does go for Earth Power. That. I'm going to be able to eat that from this range, as he just actually drops a Draco on me. That does 75%. I did calc that. Wait, I did, I did actually calc that before this, and Draco actually did more than Earth Power, because Toxapex is, is a thick boy. And that was actually an absolute maximum roll he got. So that, 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 that was actually an absolute maximum roll he got with Draco. So keep that in mind. Keep that in mind he got an absolute maximum roll there. Because it, will, it, it plays on later in the game. You'll see why. Okay, so he pulls a switch out here into his uh, Aromatisse. I go for Liquidation. I'm just trying to get damage at this point. I'm just trying to get... I need this Aromatisse gone. I can't have him wish passing up into everything. So if I'm going to win this game, I really can't let him wish pass up into everything. As I go for Iron Knight here. Actually, I am Scarf Kiram. Never mind. This battle was a while ago. I go for Mega Horn. I'm, I'm able to live it, but he dies to... No, I was Life Orb. Damn. I, I don't. I keep forgetting what item I am on this freaking Kira. Anyway, yeah, because Kira didn't do much anyway. So I go out into my healer's Kira because I could just deal something. I do have the HP ice. I don't go for it here though. I go for Volt Switch as I go into my Tank Growth now because this thing is actually in range of two Power Whips. I go for Knock Off here because I don't want him getting his leftovers anymore as he just goes for the Wish, which is all right. He goes to the Protect here as I Leech Seed. So he's going to get all his health back as I leech seed again, and now I'm able to get health back myself. As I go out into my Hideolisk here, predicting the Hydreigon to come in, as yeah, he does go into Hydreigon. I HP Ice here because I need damage on this thing. I don't care about my Hideolisk too much, it really doesn't do much this game anyway, because I'm pretty much trying to win the game now in my regen core. So now I go out into my Tangrowth here, as he's with his... As he switches into his uh, Aromatisse, I go for Power Whip, getting, trying to get some damage. So I figure Toxapex can win this game. And I just spam Power Whip here because I really have no reason not to. As he goes out into the Hydreigon, as I do fire off the Leech Seed here. So now I am getting nice health back from it. He goes back out into the tank room, as, into the Aromatisse as I fire off a Power Whip. Finally, it's dead. So now I, I, I have to sack my tank growth here. Because I need to get Life Orb damage out on this Hydreigon. And now I go out into my Toxapex here for a last ditch effort. He goes out into the Lycan Rock as I just recover. And I figure he goes for Stone Edge here. Now I think, okay, he does he have any attacking moves? Does he have so I, I thought I lost at this point. Because I figured, okay, he just he's just gonna click Draw Run here and kill me. Really no point. But he goes for Stone Edge. So he doesn't have Draw Run. He doesn't have Draw Run, which is very, very interesting. So I figure, okay, I could just click I could just spam recover here. He does reveal the Endeavor, which is, which is kind of unfortunate, but really, really not, because I could just recover, 
And now I go for bank not to go for Baneful Bunker as he goes with the Endeavor and gets poisoned now because Endeavor's contact. So now he dies, and now it's Dragon versus now it's Dragon versus me. And now this is where the Abs Max roll came to play. Because the roll is actually 67 to 75 percent with Draco. If he was the roll is actually 67 to 75 percent. And that was an Abs Max roll at 75. Here he rolls. Here he actually gets a min roll with 67, but the roll is in my favor anyway, so it didn't matter in the end. So GG to GG to Fizzle. That was a great game. That was a great game. He told me after the game he was thrown off by that Abs Max roll. This is why we count. Yeah, he told me after the game that Abs Max roll threw him off on the uh, Tox Effects. He thought it was uh, he thought 75% was a mid was a mid roll. Nah, 75% was actually an Abs Max roll. This is why I count that. I knew that roll was in my favor. So, I guy maybe could, I maybe should have Baneful Bunkered on the uh, turn he endeavored for the first time. Maybe I should have recovered that. Maybe should have Baneful Bunkered and then recovered the next turn. But I was kind of... I didn't want him to get a free SD. He didn't reveal it. Like, I, I didn't want him to get a free SD. That's why I attacked that turn. I didn't want him to get the free SD. Because if he has Dean and then throw runs, I lost guaranteed. So yeah, GG to Vizzle. That was actually that was actually a great game. That was a very good game. So next week we take on action. Next week we take on uh, Don Milano and his uh, New Jersey Nagana Devils. So Rangers versus Devils, old Metro Division showdown next week should be a good one. So Hispanic out, and I will see you guys next week. Peace.